Hey guys, Paul from FM Products. I want to talk a little bit about what we've learned about triggers and make some recommendations to get you a good, reliable product. Um, Eugene Stoner was a genius, and uh, this is an excellent trigger design. What most people don't understand is we designed this for a reason, to have the firing pin protrude only a little bit. And the reason is, is only when the hammer is in this orientation can it have access to the firing pin, so we don't have to worry about um, out-of-battery issues due to this brilliant Eugene Stoner design. If you look, as the, as the bolt moves rearward, it wants to cock the hammer. As the hammer is cocked, it doesn't have access to the firing pin. In other words, this face can only touch the firing pin when it's at the 12 o'clock position. As it's being cocked, it can't have e access to the firing pin. That's why we utilize this design in our guns, because it's very safe. If you want to have a safe, reliable gun, we always recommend a standard mil-spec GI trigger. And some of the things we've struggled with when helping our customers is them using the correct buffer. you got to use a heavy buffer. The bolt travels very quickly in a blowback, and that can allow the hammer to move very quickly, and you really need to give the disconnector time to rotate forward and grab the hammer for reliable function of a, a mil-spec trigger. So if this buffer is less than 5.5 ounces uh, or more than 3.8 inches long, it will introduce some factors into the trigger that will make it less reliable. If the buffer is too long, you're basically reducing the time that the disconnector has to rotate forward and grab the hammer. So we have seen through slow motion video, if you have a buffer that's longer than 3.8 inches, it will be a factor in burst fire. So we would never do that with our product. If you want to drop in trigger, we always suggest just sticking with one that is PCC specific. I would expect to see burst fire were a consumer to use a 556 drop in triggers with our product and that is why we do not recommend them. Um, this is an aim trigger. It's been working very well for us. This is one that we recommend but pretty much any trigger group that is designed for PCCs will work great. If you're a competitive shooter, there are many options out there for you um, that are PCC specific. Again, um, it's important to have the right length buffer. You need to give the trigger time for the disconnector to grab the hammer. And um, this is what we've learned. This is Paul from FM Products.